Hey Scrappy friends, it's Audrey. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. I am so excited to be a part of the Alt New Serenity Blog Hop, uh, sharing new products released by Alt New. We have enamel dots, some stencils, and what they call creative cuts. Um, so I am using this set of um, products today. There are a ton of other new products, um, new stencils and new creative cuts and new enamel dots. So um, they will be linked and please go check them out. So I am starting with this um, geometric landscape stencil and I am just taking some inks and going through the stencil. Um, the theme of my photo is a little bit about gardening. So I definitely wanna have some green in my background and I'm just using some scrap cardstock here um, because I'm gonna punch, I know I'm gonna punch some circles out. So these are just some scraps of cardstock I have in my pile. I'm going through just some different colored greens and kind of blending them up and I love the way that that one looks. I have to be honest, this is the second time I've used the stencil. I haven't shared uh, my other video yet that I've used the stencil, but I love the stencil for backgrounds. So I'm gonna do that on a different shade of green, just so I can have um, you know a few different color green, um, green circles that I will punch and cut out eventually. Isn't that so cool? I love that. And I loved, I, I, I did this on green cardstock. I don't often um, do a stencil like this on green or on colored cardstock. I, I most often do it on white cardstock, but I think I need to start doing this more um, when doing this type of technique, doing it on colored cardstock so that the lines um, underneath my ink, the lines that are under the stencil rather, are the same color. So it's kind of more of a tone on tone look than the bright color on a white background, for example. Okay, so I will finish that up and here are my finished um, stenciled card stocks and I will go through with some mists and just do some splatters on. It's funny, this yellow um, ink I'm splattering actually kind of blends in and you don't really see it very well. It actually ends up kind of turning white, but I just wanted to add a little bit more um, interest to that. So I set that aside for now and then I'm going to start with my background. I took a piece of white cardstock. This is um, the Basil Marshmallow cardstock, so it's very thick and it's really good for mixed media. You don't necessarily have to um, prime it with um, gesso, but I, I like to. And to kind of go along with the green, I am going to add, um, make my background a little bit yellow. And so I'm starting with just a light mist to just to kind of give a base color here um, the yellow base color and then I'll go in with some darker shades of yellow and orange to kind of um, just make it stand out a little bit more I, I really wanted the yellow to be soft in the background I'm also going to be using another stencil on the background um, but I just wanted to have a base for the stencil to go over so this is what I'm doing here with um, this light these light yellow inks and I'm just blending in with some water and uh, they, they actually dry a little bit lighter than they look right now. Um, but that's fine because I'm gonna go back over with inks. Okay, so once that is done, I picked up some of these bigger drops here. I am going to use the stencil. I love the stencil. Now it's, it's called a cloud scene stencil, but and it makes beautiful clouds. No, oh, the dog was trying to help me out. <laughs> um, <clears throat> We, we have a new, a relatively new puppy. He's not a year yet, but he's about 11 months, but he likes to see what I'm doing all the time. Um, so you can see the cloud shape, but I think it, it, it is so cool for just like a mixed media look background. And I mean, I guess this is mixed media, but <clears throat> um, it just reads, really adds some interest to the background. So I'm going over with some kind of, kind of a brownish yellow ink, and then I'm gonna go through with another brighter yellow, just to add, again, some a little dimension and I mean, it, kind of, it really does look like clouds, actually, but and I kind of like the color. Like, you would think, I, I need to use blue with this, but you don't necessarily have to use blue with it. The, the yellow or other colors could be really, really pretty. So this is definitely a new favorite, this stencil. And I'll go in with some more orange. And then just a few hints of kind of like a citron green to pick up on those green circles. Okay, so there's the background all done. Here's my photos. So I said they were gardening. 
uh, my, uh, photos of my little guy picking like our only green bean <laughs> we got on our green bean plant. So it, it's a long story, but essentially we have a tree growing near our garden and the branches this year have grown way farther out and thick and it's shaded a lot of our garden. So a lot of our vegetables aren't getting full sun. So we got this little measly green bean plant and he picked out that, okay, there was like three beans on it, but but he was super excited that we had beans. So um, it was his favorite plant in the garden, he said. So he picked them and got to eat them himself. Um, okay, so you can see I punched out a whole bunch of circles. I, I, I used a template to trace a little bit larger circle. And by the way, my, my thought for doing these circles here was to kind of pick up on the gardening theme. And I don't... Uh, the, the plant was beans, but I guess these kind of look more like peas <laughs> if you want to get technical about it. But and they kind of actually I thought that the the way the stenciling looked, they kind of look like the outside of watermelons. Like how cool would this be to do like a, a watermelon rind? So that was kind of the inspiration for me for using um, circles. I was thinking of, you know, gardening and vegetables, and peas and beans. And there you go. So I'm going to ink the edges of each of these just to make them stand out a little bit more. This this green is super bright. It's a very, um, yeah, it's just a very bright green. And I like it. Um, I was a little concerned it was going to be too bright, but I think it was fine. So I've also used some of these cutouts before. I'm sorry, yeah, these creative cuts before. And you can see I had some yellow and green ones, but they blended in too much with um, my page. So I'm going to spray some more with a contrasting color and I'm going to use a whole bunch of blue sprays a little hint of green in there uh, this is so pretty I just this color combo is just <clears throat> one of my favorites that navy blue to the teal to the citron green so I um, sprayed that and I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to go back to my layout and I'm going to start gluing down these circles here I think yeah, I'm pretty happy with that circle placement. I'm glad I have the one big circle to kind of um, anchor my photo there. Um, oh, before I glue, I'm going to... So these wood veneer pieces are also all to new. Um, I've used them before on projects when I did um, a hop for all to new a couple months ago, but um, they're good. I, by, by inking them, it's a good way to add any color you want. So I am going to, again, use a contrasting color. I'm going to use um, the orange, and that will pick up um, orange that's in the splatters and the circles and on the background and just really make, just really have a pop on the page. So I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put these yet, but I kind of like that. The little arrows pointing to the green beans. So I will distress these circles. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I haven't used any pattern paper or other embellishments on this page. I'm strictly using um, just alt new products and some cardstock and some inks and mists. That's about it. Um, so it's kind of a fun challenge to do that. And you know, you can really, with inks and mists and stencils and cardstock, you can really make your own patterns, and that's pretty much what I did here. Um, so if you want a specific color, a specific shape, stencils, and colored cardstock, and colored inks are the way to go. So once I've distressed all those, I will glue them down. And I, I, uh, I realized after I glued these down, I missed one. You probably didn't see it yet either, but I missed one because I went to go pick it up, and it fell off. Then I went through and stitched. So I just machine stitched, machine stitched some vertical straight lines with some green thread um, through the circles. And just to add a little bit more interest and um, you know texture to the page. And then I'm taking these beautiful creative cuts. And the larger circle definitely has a pattern of leaflets. So if you cut between the um, the leaflets, you can get these perfect um, curved little branches. The smaller one doesn't have um, like as defined of a of a break between like leaf sections, but you can obviously, as you see here, um, you know, cut them up to make really cute little leaf sections. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to kind of use this in a different way than intended with the circle designs. The wreaths are gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, but. Um, but I just wanted to show you another application. And now I have this whole pile to my right that I'm not going to use, um, that I can use in another project. And gosh, that inks on those, 
the paper that these cuts are made out of just really absorbed the ink very well, the spray mist very well, um, and just came out so gorgeous. I love that. Okay, so I'm really liking how this is looking. I love the navy. I mean, I know you may not think to do leaves in a color other than green, but um, I really love the contrast of the navy with the green and the orange and the yellow. So it looks pretty. Um, trying to decide there what to do with this. I want kind of, you know, if you watch my videos, you know I like to do things in my groups of three, kind of that visual triangle. So I'm trying to put another little blue branch up to the. Uh, top right to kind of balance out the other branches. Then I'm going to go crazy with the enamel dots here. Um, I also thought that punching circles out of the paper would, and, and then adding the enamel dots would kind of help add to the theme. So I'll put some um, circle ones, green, circle green enamel dots. This, this um, color combo is called Tropical Forest. And I love that they have some little hearts and stars, so I threw a couple of those in too. So try, still trying to decide where to put that third leaf branch here maybe there. Um, okay, also another alt new product I've had in my stash, a stamp set um, that I've used on a layout before, and there's a little phrase in there that says, oh, happy day. Um, I'm going to stamp it on a circle here, another a different circle that I punched out, and then the first one I punched, the I didn't like the, the ink wasn't dark enough because I used like a uh, charcoal gray ink, so then I'm going to try a black ink, and um, that was better, but I don't think I like the additional circle here. I I wasn't sure if I wanted to add another circle. So and then I tried a smaller circle that was too small for the phrase. So I just decided to use a green ink that I stamped, that I initially made my circles with, and kind of just do a really subtle stamp on the circle above my photo. And that's, yeah, that's pretty good. I will go through and pop up my photos with some foam adhesive here and you can see I added just a couple labels I'm just going to add my journaling on one and my date on another and I'll put these arrows on now some, because the photos are popped up some of the arrows are raised up on the photo and the other arrows the other arrow is just kind of sitting in the background so from this angle it looks like they're all in a straight line but if you look at them from the side they are um, raised up a little bit differently and then I'll add just another little tiny pop of orange heart over here. I put that one on. I thought it was too bright. And then I go back and have to change it. <laughs> I'm very picky. It's not like these co these colors are very, very different. There's very subtle, diff subtle differences. But I am very picky about that. So I am going to glue my leaves down. And there it is. That is my finished page. So it's amazing what you can make without any pattern paper or embellishments. <laughs> it's make your own, but I love these products. So the stencils, the creative cut wreaths, the uh, enamel dots, the wood veneer um, stamps. So all products from Alt New. Uh, I, I am. I, I think my favorite though of this whole release. I mean, who doesn't love enamel dots? But that cloud stencil is going to be used quite a bit, I think. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video today. Please be sure to check out all the other beautiful projects on the blog hop. I have linked my blog and the products below. And stay scrappy, friends. See you soon.